Now, ideally, cleaning up would mean taking everything away from where it's left where I was working and putting it away. Whether it's, you know, in a bin, in a drawer, on a shelf. Realistically, what happens here in the homestead is when I clean up one space, I oftentimes have to just move stuff to another space and continue doing that like a weird relay race. But next step on this is to measure and cut the boning. Difficulty with that, the last corset, was I was missing a tool. Couldn't find it, so I had to buy a replacement. Good pair of side cutters that'll cut the spring steel of the boning. Not bad, 25 bucks, but you know, if I keep it, keep people from stealing it, I have it for the rest of my life. Be right with you. Getting a stand here so you can see how I do this. Loop around the table. There we are. Try this new tool. Now when you're measuring out the boning, I'm going to leave a little excess space. It's going to run alongside the zipper. It doesn't need to run past the zipper. So we'll mark it at the bottom of the zipper and let's see if these new tools work. Perfect! Look at that. I don't even see that, but there, right away. One the right length there. Let's see if we can duplicate that. Got this edge there. The opposite side, it's double coil. There, we can get a spark. Nice. So, this is obviously doing the job right. So, we'll cut these two, cut the two for the ends that are going to be here and here, the other end there. We'll cap them. I showed you how to do that before. Now, let's start putting them in place. Worth 25 bucks, awesome new tool. We've got this here, that's four down, only six more to go. That's where that goes, that's where that goes, that's where those go. So, that's set up. Turn on the lights, turn on the machine. And I'll put the other foot back on there and uh, put these two in place, or these four in place. Put the quilting foot back on. Set that up there, get you where you can see best we can. So we're going to take this, put it inside, alongside the zipper. Keep this as tight as possible. Roll up the excess because we're doing this edge, but I want to work from the top down. Top of the garment. From the top seam. Well, from the top stitch. Again, reaching up inside, we're going to press this as tight against this top stitch as we can. Make everything line up nice and really pretty. Keep it clean, keep it even.
Because we know this is going to be a straight line because it's going to run straight along to get to the bone. Now it's difficult for you to see past my hand in this big fold here, but we'll do what we can to make it a little easier. <coughs> get close to the end we'll push this as far up in as we can to hold it down like I said it doesn't have to go past the end of the zipper it's not going to it actually comes out there once we're past that end of the boning turn at 90 or at least 45 we'll be able to curve around that end. Right to that top stitch. Then we do our back stitch. That's the first piece boning in. I'm going to hurry on this as much as I can because a previous client I had spoken of in other videos who was supposed to show up with material and stats and didn't. Well, I'm supposed to bring everything by tonight. And I'll take a couple extra days on this to finish it, and then I'll be working on a large scale order so you'll get to see some, uh, uh, what would you call it, mass production work. <clears throat> Get that one for the back end. Rich, yeah. Put it up inside there. Push it right up to the middle of the back and forth. Push it right up to that previous top stitch. Now we're working from this side. There we are. Easier to see. Easier to figure out what's going on. All pressed in there nice and even and flat. Two fingers from the bottom, just like I measured. There's the end of it. Do that turn again. So we stitch around the bottom of the boning. right to the previous top stitch and we do our back stitch to finish it. There we go. All right. Do the other one and then I'll show you them both finished so you can see what it looks like. Got the first four bones in, just the ends next to the zipper. Right there, the eyelets are going to go down here. But all in all, it holds its shape a little better now. It's looking more and more like a solid garment. Yeah. Everything stands and sits where it's supposed to. You can see where the shapes are going to be. 
having a look. Okay, next time, do the other six bones. <clears throat> then we'll be ready to do the bottom edge, which will be a binding, and the eyelets. And the last piece we're going to do will be the vanity panel, which is folded up down here. Oh, wait. There it is. It's folded up right there. So we'll cut those to the right size and shape to do vanity panel. Because obviously I cut them way bigger than they need to be so that there'd be enough material to do it. Make them right. Okay, talk to you next time.